Hey folks, so this is what bananas growing north of the tropics looks like. These are a, a Japanese fiber banana. Latin name is musa baju, musa meaning banana. <clears throat> so uh, first of all, we'll tell you bananas are not palms. They are giant rhizotomous herbs. So they're a giant herb and they're a perennial. Uh, in this climate, most people don't bother protecting them. Uh, first hard frost will knock the leaves off and the canes will remain standing all winter. If it gets down below a certain temperature, uh, I think it's down around minus three or so, minus four, the uh, canes will start to decompose and uh, that's why it's always good to mulch the ground and uh, they'll come up below the mulch line. Um, I've never really ever had them freeze right to the ground. Most of the time I bubble wrap the trunks. Uh, a couple of times I've never bubble wrapped the trunks and the one time they didn't freeze to the ground and all the canes remained standing all winter with no protection. And then uh, one time it got a little colder than minus four, I think it was minus 4.2 minus three or 4.3 and they froze down part way the canes but still not all the way to the mulch line so if you want to grow these uh, start with deep rich soil uh, ample summer irrigation lots of heavy feeding uh, top dressing with manure you can use other fertilizers if you want I use seaweed you can li use liquid fish you can use miracle grow they definitely like full sun uh, if you plant them in a lot of wind they're gonna rip up the leaves are gonna totally shred up on you uh, here it's very sheltered so they never get ripped up. And uh, there have been times where they've made it right through till spring without being frosted. Hopefully this will be one of those years. So uh, these are the most cold hardy bananas, I think on the face of the earth. There are many other hardy varieties, but this is the, uh, this is the king of the, uh, of the hardy bananas. Uh, root hardy, probably to about minus 20 degrees Celsius with a ground mulch. Ours here grow about 17 feet tall or so. I've seen them to 25 foot tall on salt spring and up to 30 foot, 4 foot tall uh, in Vancouver. Um, I started growing bananas in 1989 and I got these from a single pup off those old ones growing in Vancouver that were planted in 1984. Um, I've got photos of them and I've actually posted them on uh, some of my uh, online groups there that I took back in the 1980s, I think 1988 where they were maxed out at 34 feet tall in Vancouver. So anyway, most uh, nurseries sell these now, Home Depot sells them and even Costco sells them. So Musa Baju is the one you're looking for and uh, protect them from the deer if you have deer because the deer will eat the leaves too when they're small. This will give you the most bang for your buck if you're looking for the tropical uh, look. This is, the, this is the tropics north of the border, folks. Way north of the border. Far north of the tropics, you can have the tropics. Have your own frickin' Hawaiian jungle or Costa Rican jungle look right there. And they go well with palm trees and other broadleaf exotica. Cheers from the Gulf Islands of British Columbia, Canada, Salt Spring Island, and happy banana growing.